An integrated circuit, also known as a microchip, is a tiny device that contains many electronic components such as transistors, resistors, capacitors and inductors, all built into a single piece of semiconductor material. This piece of material can for example be silicon. ICs are now used in virtually all electronic equipment. They were first introduced in 1958 and their invention revolutionized electronics. Since then it was possible to put complex electronic systems into incredibly small spaces. You can see this in action when you look at a smartphone's chip. It can contain multiple processor cores, memory and storage all on a tiny piece of silicon. Integrated circuits have many different functions including amplifying weak signals, counting and storing digital information, generating timing pulses, performing logical operations and more. Some common examples of integrated circuits include microcontrollers like the Atmega 328 used in Arduino boards, memory chips, digital signal processors, and graphics processing units. ICs have three main advantages over circuits constructed out of discrete components. Size, cost, and performance. They're tiny, cheap, and fast. Another advantage is their high reliability due to the elimination of wire bonds. This makes them ideal for applications where reliability is crucial. For example, NASA's Apollo program was the largest single consumer of integrated circuits between 1961 and 1965. One of their drawbacks is that IC design is more complex than, for example, PCB design. This is due to the need for precise control at a microscopic scale, as well as manufacturing costs for initial production runs. Other disadvantages include limited power handling, not being repairable, inability to integrate certain components, and temperature sensitivity. Integrated circuits are still evolving, with advancements in semiconductor technology allowing for even smaller and more complex devices to be built. This has been Integrated Circuits in 100 Seconds, like, comment and subscribe to see more, and see you in the next one.